Did you know that the first mention of this game was in from Mitsu Magazine in June of 2009? It contained a teasered advertisement that just had a tiny picture of Tingle saying Yosei, which meant fairy. Even though neither of the Tingle games, the, the, the big Tingle games, really didn't have much of an obsession with the fairies, more with money. Now go back to Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. Previously, we righted some wrongs that were left behind after our love balloon trip. Yeah, we cured some people that were also poisoned by witch. Oh no, all my coins! Oh well, we don't need them anyway. I had some difficulties finding a Baron, and then he just showed up because it's RNG. And we also saved the old couple. They're indebted to us forever. Like as a life debt. Now we're gonna head to page 7. We got some other side quests to do. I could have done these sooner, but they're not really story pertinent. We've seen this scene several times over, especially when we go to a dungeon. But there's new things to do in page 7. We have to run a little errand for someone. And we haven't met him the entire game. Actually, we kind of just like walk past him, like we did that monster. Is this dude? This, this Jawa looking person. Yeah, that's, that's kind of sub-Rosian, ain't it? A little bit. He's out at night. He's wearing a robe. Can't see his face. He's a bit squeaky. <laughs> so, he's looking for dishes. A wandering chef. <laughs> well... That doesn't really seem to be a problem. We just walked in there just fine. Oh, okay. He has his own personal reasons for not entering a village. Yeah, sure. Why not? It sounds like a side quest. Spurtler Hermit wants us to do those. You know what? That just bounces off me anymore. I have an Azusa waiting for me. He wants fish, mushrooms, and a condiment. So I'll, I'll just pick up some fish at the store, I'll pick you some psychedelic mushrooms, and... Uh, we'll go good with that. Ketchup? Alright, he wants us to get some stuff for him, and we could get it all on this page. No page jumping for us. Actually, we've seen one of the ingredients already. I, I actually picked one. It's these weird glowing mushrooms that are popping up all around the village. These things here. Yep, you have to click on them a few times, though. And Tingle just rushes over and grabs it like it's rupees. No, Tingle, it's not rupees. It's a nightcap. And not that kind of nightcap, either. It's not alcoholic. It's a mushroom. I'm kicking this because I haven't kicked fruit in a while, and I got a little antsy. Free rupees, you know? So he also wants some fish. Uh, I think I have some worms left over. But first, mushroom. Give mushroom to me. Yeah, I know, it's a nightcap. You don't have to remind us every single time, okay? Hmm, I wonder what kind of fish you would like, though. Uh, first of all, I'm doing this wrong. Forgot my own rule. Pick the rod first. Yeah, I got some worms left over. I had too many worms! Wow, lots of loud traffic tonight. Come on, you know you want it. You want the worm? It doesn't want the worm. Let's try that again. I think this is the spot for the right kind of fish. Ah, there we go, there we go, it's going. Had to use my fast forward a little bit. Alright, is this it? No, it's that stupid Kutzpa carp thing. I don't even think that's how you spell Kutzpa. You know what? There's a better spot for this anyway. We have to catch a specific kind of fish and also rare fruit. I... No, Lion does not handle fruit. He manhandles fruit. He manhandles everything. That's why he's called Lion. Because he mauls you to death. 
Now, Bariki, you're kind of in the way of that mushroom over there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go get away from that. Ah. Well, anyway, we need a specific kind of fish. We need a Shizander, and I know this because I'm psychic. And I'm pretty sure Shizanders like to hang around near Iona's place. So I'm gonna see if I can't pick up one of those. I mean, energy eels actually appear here too, I think. Oh, you're not a Shizander! Ah, sweet fish. Let's try that again. I'm pretty sure Shizanders appear in this area. Come on, bite it! Ah! Well, at least this is more engaging fishing than Final Fantasy XV. And yes, I have played- I am playing that game. Like, on my off time. Uh, I'm having mixed results with it. Especially since it's the PC version, and I don't think Square can port a Final Fantasy to save its life. Just like catching this fish. This is Square trying to make a PC Final Fantasy. It just doesn't work. Sweet fish, get out of here! I can't- I can't believe I'm down to my last worm! I wanted a Shizander! Come on, Shizander! That's not a Shizander. That's a long-legged shrimp. Well, that's a problem. Um, let's get the rest of this recipe and then I'll, I'll, I'll off-screen getting the Shizander. Because now I'm going to have to go get worms and I'm going to have to find out where it's an easier place to get a Shizander here. Maybe they don't even appear at night. Got some rare fruits. We also got a mushroom. I think that's number four right there. Seriously, we gotta do that every single time. You're ridiculous. At least Bariki wasn't in the way of this one. Yay, more fruits! The rupees are absolutely worthless. What kind of presents do I need to buy anyway? I got like tons of them. You're checking out the fruit stand? And I... I'm not sure if there's any mushrooms up this way. No, I don't think there's any mushrooms at all up this way. Oh, we could, we could get some worms, like, right here. I don't have to time jump. But still, we saw Kakashi get worms before. Maybe I'll give it, a, like, a few more tries, but... Like, on screen... What was that? Did somebody sneeze? Oh, look, it's the Bug Boy, again! Looks like he's having problems with a salt and pepper butterfly. Keeps on turning black and making him sneeze. You need some help with that? Maybe that's the butterfly he was talking about before. Except it doesn't look like it's on fire. How could he confuse them? Alright, we saw him sneeze enough. He's gonna have some kind of aneurysm. Maybe you should step away from that thing. Do you need some help with that? Maybe Tingle's not allergic with his big red nose. Yeah, why not? We were effective the last time. And that was a butterfly that was on fire. I'm even getting the net. Oh, right, I could catch a bumblebee. Well, actually, I, I kind of know how to catch insects. Uh, did you see Rupee Land? I threw bombs at them. That's how it works. Yeah, you don't want Tingle to sneeze. He'll destroy the town. Just like what you were doing. You're not following your own advice. So, you mean whenever it turns white? That's not a very long time. That's only like a, a second or so. Alright, we just gotta wait until it turns white. And we got it! Look at that! One try! That's how Tingle does it. No, oh, that's not the right butterfly either. Oh, okay, just give it to us then. We'll 
bury it and... I don't know, grow something with it. Oh wait, we just used the, the, the wing powder. We don't actually bury the butterfly. But this is a better fly. It's different. How about one of those butt monsters in the dungeon? Actually, wasn't he chasing a, a stag beetle in the, um, in the credits? Yeah, he was chasing a stag beetle, and Great was chasing him. Le leads up to that moment, except he's just gonna stand there and be useless for the rest of the game. But at least he got a better fly. It makes you sneeze! The scales are spicy! So it's a pepper fly. And we got five nightcaps. So, I gotta work on some worm getting. See a little bit. Alright, I snagged myself up about ten worms. Blues and yellows, because reds just take way too darn long. Let's try, uh, let's try this area. Maybe this area has some Shizander in it. Because the other one is kind of filled with sweet fish at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna try my luck like about three more times, and then I'll also put a cut in it there. You better be a Shizander. That's not a Shizander! That's a Mario fish. A big buddy. You know it's a Mario and Luigi reference. It even looks like they're wearing little hats. Come on, Shizander, come out here. Stop being so shy. That, that's a shoe. That's not even a fish. That fish is senseless. I hate it. That's not even a fish at all. They didn't want that yellow worm. There we go. Come on. Do it. Be a Shizander. You're a shoe! I hate you! Now I'm going back to my regular spot. Ah. Shizander is being like the Baron to me. It's not appearing when I want it to appear. It's being governed by R and Jesus. Alright, I need... Why does my rod have to be buried? I just took it out. Also, I clicked on the point, didn't I, before I got the, out the rod. You better be a Shizander, or I'm just gonna put a cut in it. Oh. It probably was a Shizander, but I clicked too poorly. Alright, I will give it one more college try. With the blue worm. Come on out. You want to be a fish. You want to be the right kind of fish. Okay, you could be no fish at all. That's that's good too. You could be whatever you want. It's a free country, I think. It is a monarchy after all. I don't know if it's actually a free country. I mean, it's not free in the rupee sense. Ah, all right, fine. You know what? I'll just catch the Shizander on my own. Finally, a Shizander on my last worm. Ah, they really are shy. That's the fish we needed. I could sell the rest of the fish on my own time for rupees. Not like I really need them. I did the fishing tournament thing too. But at least we have all the ingredients now. It's not like this quest ends here anyway. Something tells me we're going to be seeing this mysterious Subrosian guy again. Also, his bag seems to be referencing something. But hey, I got your stuff. Yeah, sure, let's learn about that. How about the fish? No, no it isn't. No, it is absolutely not. Not when you want... Oh, okay, he actually comes out and tells you. Yeah, that was being spoilerific. Mushrooms, obviously, glowing mushrooms. Nightcaps. It's the only mushroom you could find in this page. He wants five of those. And he wants a condiment. It sure is. Like, uh, catching a Shizander, for one thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is quite a miracle. Looking at Tingle's body size. Oh, hey, I actually found that! It's called a Betterfly. Yep, I got a Betterfly for you. 
though we're gonna have to actually hand them all the stuff, like one by one, because this is how this game operates. It's a Shizander! You have no idea what I went through for this! About a few minutes worth of fishing. What? I just caught a Shizander for you. You don't even know the rest of the things I have yet, because you're not aware of them. I have to make you aware of them. Like these nightcaps. So this isn't really a dish, I'm just giving you the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, I, I already got that too. Where the heck did I put that bitter fly? There it is. Do you want some extra fish? You know, maybe some shrimp to go with that? Maybe a sweet fish. It's pretty sweet. That's a condiment. Maybe they exude some kind of honey. It's the bitter fly! It doesn't make you sneeze? Well, okay. He has a better constitution than the bug catcher guy does. Now you'll give me like 20,000 rupees. It is a local delicacy after all. It should be worth a lot of money. But wait a second, he has wings! Something tells me that guy was a ladybug. Perhaps that younger brother we were told about. That other sticker we're not going to be seeing for a little while, because it requires something to do with the dungeon. And we're not ready to deal with that one just yet. But I do know where that vagabond is going. We're going to have to go to page 12 now. We're going to go way forward in time. Past several boss fights. I think we've seen uh, the world thereafter page 12 a little bit before, too. Yeah, yeah, we've been there when uh, we were love pushing one pup and getting a ring, I believe. We saved our princess on this page, and we got absolutely nothing done in it. Yeah, I'm glad too. Hopefully she doesn't get, like, uh, disguised and kidnapped by some kind of witch person. Yep, yeah, and it's gonna go pretty well. Don't ask me how I know this. Yeah, by the way, that ed education advisor is gonna betray us. It's like, stay on your guard. I don't want you getting murdered. Oh, here comes future me now. Future, past, present... It's just me. It's another me, okay? There's two tingles. There's many tingles. Tingle and tingle, tingle's dream team. Anyway. Uh, is this the right page? I'm not even quite sure. Oh, yeah, there's a Baron Nimi here. Don't ask me how I know this is the right page just because Baron Nimi is standing here. No, no it wasn't. It was a magical medicine that only I have. And, and there's like an unlimited supply of it. Heck with you. So, the Vagabond's gotta be around here somewhere. There's Love Ya, hawking his wares. I got plenty of gifts, thanks! Where could the Vagabond have gone? Checking the newspaper, perhaps? Hanging out with Link? Hey, Lu hey, one pup! Who's a good girl? Yeah! Don't ask me how she knows me, bye! No Vagabonds yet! Where could he possibly have gone? Maybe my psychic reading is off. There's a uh, Sigma Jet. He gets his uh, pheromone sucked out and somehow lives. Oh, hey, there's something in front of his door. Give me that. A wind-up key. You know what? I have a feeling that this is not the right page at all, but we do want this wind-up key for something. Let me just uh, check something real quick. Oh, where the heck is it? There it is. There the heck it is. All right, let's take a look at this again. It, the Vagabond has to be on this page somewhere. Either that or my notes are wrong. Nope, nothing wrong with that screen at all. No, nobody's hiding in plain sight there. That would be silly. 
It certainly isn't some kind of ninja trying to kill us. Now my note said page 12 is a vagabond on the screen. And he has things for us. Here we are, vagabondless. Yeah, hi, hi, one pup again. We, we don't need you right now. So you could stop following. Okay, you can just follow us whenever you want. We gave her a bone after all. Now she knows that we're a source of food. So I think we're completely wrong in being on page 12. But hey, we got a wind-up key out of the deal, so that's effective. I'm gonna go on a hunch and think it maybe page 13 might have the answer. Even though I was kind of not wanting to go to page 13 yet. But I mean, heck, it's the end game. We already saw everything that happens. Because page 11, we're not at the city yet. We're at the desert. Well, time to see my friends die again, I guess. Yep, the friends are nowhere to be seen. I murdered them with time travel, looking for a vagabond. Welcome to the world thereafter, page 13. Obviously, these guys have gotten arrested. I'm not worried about their story right now. Well, at least everything's back to normal after Stink and his friends trashed a place. They clean up pretty good around here. Like, wouldn't people be, like, a little upset saying Tingle, though? Hey, who are you? What are you doing? No, you can't! Get out of there, you ridiculous person! It's the reporter guy. He's trying to get some scoops, and that's not how you get a scoop. Well, Broom Boy has to eat, too. Hey, what's this? Ah, isn't this the table that, uh, Kakashi and Lion and Bariki stand at? Oh, the journalist's armband. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. I'm not even aware why I need this. That's a sub side quest I haven't even done yet. More importantly, I need to find a Vagabond. Maybe my note was right after all. There's no Vagabond here. Ah! I wasted everyone's time! Let's get back to page 12, because I have a hunch I know where he's hiding. Okay. I feel like an idiot now. It is page 12. I forgot one specific area. Up there. Oh, you are a sneaky bugger! <laughs> yes, yes we have. You are hard to find. How you doing today, anyway? Or tonight? <laughs> oh, you keep on doing that thing, huh? Now he's come to the city to prepare his meals. No, no it isn't, because I really had to look for you pretty hard. It sure is. Okay, what do you need this time? Well, I wanted to hear, hey, your quest is complete, and I don't need you anymore. Stop looking for me. You got Armageddon Burry! How do you get mushrooms, a fish, and, you know, pepper scales into that? It looks like lava! No, no it doesn't, Kakashi. You don't even know because you don't eat anything. Well, at least you corrected yourself. Oh, so this is a completely different meal. It's not very appetizing. So he's looking to get some Michelin stars with his lava dish. I guess he could find a Goron or something that would eat it. But you look like a sub and no one wanted to talk to you. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, can 
I withhold that answer? All right, now I gotta find someone that would be willing to taste a lava meal. You know, he, he kind of been a thorn in my side this entire game. If I was going to give lava to anyone, I know exactly who to give it to. His name rhymes with Baron Nimi. Because that's his name. You know, it, it does, it rhymes. Shut up. That's right, I'm going to give that to him. I hope his stomach explodes. Eat this. No, I didn't make it. It's some kind of brilliant chef made it. Ugh. He's not impressed. Oh. Oh! Of burning rocks! He's going to eat the lava! Well, th nice knowing you. At least I don't have to deal with you at the dance party anymore. And then he died. That's his organs exploding. Ah, he didn't die. Why did that ugly looking dish be so delicious? I wanted him to die. That it is molten. So he rather enjoyed that. No, no, I did not. It would look a lot better than that. And I would sell it for, like, millions of rupees. <laughs> Sounds like the Vagabond has got a job! Serving... Demi-royalty. He's a baron, he's not a king. He just owns some land. The cars won't give it a rest today, will they? There's not even any cars in the city. How are we hearing them? You're breaking the immersion! Should get the police to stop everyone on the road. Right. Okay, I uh, gave it to somebody and surprisingly they liked it. <laughs> because we have some good news. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk, though. I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe he'll fill Baron Nimi up with some fattening meals and the girls won't like him anymore. Kakashi, you were there when it happened! What am I gonna do with you? Seriously, we have to escort him back. At least we have to don't have to do all the screens again. Time to finally show his face, and then he dissolves because he can't touch open air or something like that. Is it the Subrosians? At least one pup is here with us. She deserves to see this as much as anybody else. It's a ladybug. It's pink! Uh, so that was the younger brother all along. No wonder he wanted to be a chef, because he had to make up for the very girly color. Well, at least that's the color of royalty. Congratulations, you now have job. It's not with an auntie, though, so you kind of lost out. Well, you know, he has, he has a dad and his mom that are filthy rich. You're finally a chef! You're very welcome. And then immediately he gets fired. Because Baron Nimi is, like, very super racist against ladybugs. I won't let this be a happy ending, damn it! Oh, great. Now he has a flying chef, and I don't. All I have is a dog that can give you an extra life, occasionally. Why does Baron Nimi get all the cool stuff? Uh, you kind of left something behind there? 
Drop him! Ah, he didn't drop him. I want bad things to happen to Baron Nimi. No, they won't be okay. I I'm dreaming up revenge fantasies in my head. Well, he left his thing behind. His whole luggage! He doesn't need it where he's going. Yep, they got Ladybug's thing. Uh, that means we have to do more questing. That didn't get me a sticker at all. You well, know, Red doesn't want some evidence that, uh, Pink has done something with his life. Since he's left in such a big hurry. So that means they're gonna have to go back to page two and see some closure in this. And all the way back to page two, with no fast travel. Really? I'm tired of flipping pages. I'm getting paper cuts. Red better enjoy this, because I had a lot of stress trying to find that guy. And also the Shizander thing. Let's not even get started on how much stress this was. Someone owes me rupees. So if I remember correctly, Red is hanging out in the lawn. And also, don't we have like a... A lost thing for blue, too? Well, one thing at a time. I met Pink. Here's his things. He doesn't need them anymore. He's richer than you'll ever be. It sure does. Because he ran off at a baron. Maybe it's a lava meal. He was working on that. It is a lava meal! So it kind of went a little bad. It's the time travel net thing. Yeah. Well, in the future, like several weeks from now, And then his organs explode. So it doesn't really do well with time travel. Or maybe Baron Nimi just has awful taste. Or maybe Red has awful taste. Who knows? It's all subjective. Rupees? No, that's that is rupee giving levels of stress, that side quest. At least I got a sticker and I don't have to see page two ever again. Which, speaking of which, then what is uh, Blue's deal with the lost item then? I guess we'll find that out another time then. Good night, folks. <laughs>